Hey guys, you here, aka Gene. I am in my van today. We're gonna be opening up the travel and transport, going into Southern San Andreas Autos to showcase the Bravado Rat Track, the last vehicle from the brand new Christmas DLC. Tinsel Town, let's go. Here we go with. Wait, where are we at? Oh, yeah. Perfect place, but this time we're gonna be going to a different mod shop, actually. Mechanic, my boy Mechanic, where you at, brother? It's a nice truck. What's this? It's a van, isn't it? Look at the interior copy and paste, man. Get out of here. Where you are, rat track. Rat track. That's the way I read it, man. I'm so dyslexic. Rat truck. All right. Let's see. Haven't seen this yet. It's going to be for the first time today. Where you at? Ooh. The front looks a bit like a rat loader. It is, in fact. It's just a. It's just basically a modernized, modernized version. Exactly. Yep. It's a modernized version. And so I have to do a comparison. Look at this. It looks nice from the rear. Death looks much uh, nicer from the rear. Front looks the same. Looks like the modified version of the Rat Loader, in fact. One of the hood options, or one of the front options, I guess. Wow. Wait, is this the furthest view? But no, it's not. Let's see the interior real quick. Yep. They've pretty much copied and pasted from the um, Slam Van. Yep, they copied and pasted the Slam Van. They were like, you know what? I can't be arsed with this shit. Let's copy and paste it. Can't be asked reworking design. Oh, the the wheels. Let's see the wheels on the rear. Is it bigger? No, it's the same size in front and back. It seems like, but it's just it's just the way it's sticking out from the back bed that makes it look big. They are quite quite big actually. Let's see. Wait, go on. Let please stop. Wait, can I can I compare the size please? It's much thicker. It seems like yeah, it's certainly thicker from the uh, left to right width. Anyway. Let's go to the custom mud shop. Feels much quicker than the uh, actual original rat loader. Just the rat, rat truck. It's actually quite quick. I wonder where it will be in the ordering of the muscle cars, actually. Oh, feels nice as well. The suspensions, the way it works. Through these little bumps and potholes. You, you certainly feel it. Handling feels nice and efficient as well. Of course, uh... You, you get that understeer, but it, it, it wants to stick to the ground, that, put it that way. But that's kind of expected of the weight, but I'm just trying to just see the uh, response time on the straight here. Look at this. Look at this. I'm carrying so much speed, but... Ooh. As expected, the braking there is, uh... Yeah, a bit off. Not as bad as the slam van, though, but it's still, uh... It's, it's still is bit delayed there on the stopping but it's it's um something that you get used to right away as What's opposed to the getting used to the slam band to break in anyway so uh let's see armor brakes engine engine bay oh look at that slap the v8 on that real quick they even named it chrome v8 exhaust where's the exhaust at? oh it's down here wait is that stock ones down there oh look at that the short ones Hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Do you, see, do you guys see that? The short exhaust. It's probably... Oh, it's probably attached to the thing on the front. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. Actually, I can't even see it, to be honest. Oh, there you go. This one sticks out. And oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Shred exit exhaust comes out from the front like that. Holy shit. Okay. Sting exhaust. Oh, my lord. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yes. Side... Nah. 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 Do you know what, mate? I quite like the Stinger exhaust, to be honest. The straight ex ex exit ones looks a bit over-exaggerated, but this one looks nice. The fenders as well. Where's that? What? Oh, wait. That, that's awkward. Do you know why that's awkward? I'll tell you why that's awkward. Because, now, if I go back to the exhaust, right, put it back to stock. Now, with the fenders, you get to remove it, but not have the exhaust there at the same time. But then... Go back to the exhaust, slap the stinger on real quick. It's kind of pointless having the option to uh, remove the fenders because it's already removed. Logic. Does it look better with the cycle fenders or nah? Mm, that, that's a tough one. That's a tough choice, actually. Nah, it doesn't look better, actually. So just remove that. Grill bars. Remove it. Oh, vintage grill. That looks dirty. Vintage looks dirty. Look at that. It looks aggressive as fuck, no? Hood. Oh, look at these options. Just They're coming out of nowhere. Holy fish nipples. Look at this one. 
If you remove the hood, look at the engine. Ridiculously awesome. Although the graphics and the <laughs> just in the front there looks a bit weird, but it's nice. Oh, fish. Single scoop with the hood. Got single scoop without the hood. And then we've got triple scoop with the hood. And then we have triple scoop without hood. There's so much. So many, right? There's so much to choose from. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Holy shit. I want this one, actually. I like the hood on. Lights. Slap that on real quick. What else we got? Respray. What sort of options we have here? Metallic. Oh, crap. Alright, let's go with my classical color theme here. Alright. And then, uh, do you know what? I actually like it black. Keep it black. It looks aggressive as fuck. Matte black. Fuck it. And then, uh, I bet some of you guys will be like, no, no, don't make it red. No, you're going to ruin it. I knew exactly what you guys are going to type in the comments there. And that suspension's ruined it as well. Look at that. Oh, that's disgusting. It's transmission. Turbo. Wow, we've been spending a long time here. Wow. Muscle. Certainly the hot rod. Oh, wait a minute. That. That looks nice as well. But then again, let me see the hot rod. Yeah. Classic rod. What am I talking about? Definitely classic rod. Wheel color. Keep it the way it is. Custom tires. Nah. You ugly. Uh, black smoke. What else? What else? Windows. Tinted out. Mm, nah. That's pretty much it, fellas. Finally. Wow. You spent the entire... Oh, wow. Even in, in that bloody mud shot. Whoa! Listen to that. You guys can't even... You can barely see the car, man. Holy, what the hell? The truck, sorry. Listen to this. Wow. Look at my guy just freaking spazzing out in there. He's probably jerking off to the sound, man. I wouldn't be surprised. Look at that. Let's go into the light. My apologies. Let's go into the light. This is, uh... Not the greatest color combination to showcase the car at this time of the day. Holy shit. That is epic. Great. What the? You can even see the light inside here. All right. I'm not sure where that is coming from, but let's go. Now I can certainly feel the understeer because the car is going quicker oh my lord let's do this let's do this I feel the speed look at the speed this car responds so I mean it's like the wheels it feels different to any other car it's, it's, it feels rather unique it's like um, when you go over little bumps and whatnot the Wheels respond differently to each other. They're not coordinated at the same time. It's uh, it's not synchronized, you know, with the movement. It's different, you know. Let if you let's say it's hard to explain. You guys get the gist of it from the visualization of the movements of the wheels. It's not synchronized with the movements. Oh my! Holy, we scraped that. That's insane. Oh my lord! Do you know what? I I actually need to change the color of this because I I can't see. I can't even see what I'm. I'm driving right now because it's it's black and it's in the dark and it's not the greatest thing to showcase this video for. I'm going to make it white actually. I did say I was going to make it white but fuck it. Orange is good enough, you pumpkin head. Let's go. The understeer, the understeer, understeer but then we want to oversteer as well. Oh, you fish. We're going to do this. Swift to the left. Swift to the right. Squeeze for the gap. Do a little shimmy. Can we squeeze for this gap? Oh, ambitious. He makes it. Oh, go over this little curb here. Holy shit, my car nearly literally lifted off there. Let me see. Oh, it's quite smooth over the little curbs there. Oh, Lord. The sh sheer power, this, this speed right now. Don't know if it's a placebo, but it's, I feel like I'm going extremely, extremely quick there but maybe it's just because I'm so used to the uh, rat loader testing from the muscle car 
listings that I posted recently, or actually a couple of weeks ago, that when this feels so fast, it's just, it's weird. Wow. Wow, it's certainly a struggle. So it's, um, I don't know. I, I certainly find the uh, Slamman more enjoyable to drive around with than this, although this one, you know, produces more speed and whatnot. It's just like, see, the thing about this one, right? It either understeers or completely oversteers. That, that, that's basically what I'm sort of receiving from this handling right now. Like, it doesn't want to power slide like the other one comfortably or drift, whatever you want to call it. It's just the, it's just the way the um, it's, I guess the tires, the suspensions work. I guess. Look, look at this understeer! Wow! I'm, I'm literally I'm I'm slamming my analog stick to the left right now, completely to the left, and that's the sort of turning circle that we're getting right now. That can literally cover the entire world. Look at this! Slam my right analog stick right there, and wow! You can literally hit the apex from such an awkward angle as well. I'm gonna oversteer. Hey! There we go, Yabo. Chicane. Such a fake chicane. Drift that. Ooh, rev that. Do it, do it. 360. Okay, the, okay. Guys, honestly, honestly, I don't like the way this handles. I mean, it looks nice. It looks much more enhanced than the previous rat loader. Uh, but certainly handling is absolutely awkward. That's the best way to describe the feeling of this right now So awkward. I prefer the slam one guys and honestly, I'm gonna end the showcase here because I'm not actually enjoying this whatsoever Probably because I suck with it, but that's me admitting it I'm absolutely horrible with this and uh, Yeah, I mean looks nice, but it's not comfortable honestly coming from me a person anyway from my point of view from testing other ones out but Slamman is certainly my preferred truck from this DLC over this one. But it's nice to see the enhanced version of the Rat Loader anyway. It's good to see uh, some improvements and some variations as well. Oh, damn, we fucked that light up. All right, thanks for watching, guys. And um, there you have it. This is the showcase of the Rat Truck. Hope you guys have seen the, all the modifications. Nice to see all the modifications for this one as well as the, as the previous version. There's a lot to choose from. I like the exhausts and the options there as well certainly makes it look cooler and i'm loving the tires as well looks so much um more vibrant so thanks for watching check your sign out good night peace yay hey guys show you here right here yay genie as you can see here we have the brand new vapid slam van from this brand new christmas dlc my apologies with the delay